Alrighty you guys, I'm here with a Dark Souls 3 fashion tutorial type of video and you see me going through the um, legs, armors, and everything else here because I'm trying to find some decent builds for possible PVPs when I get shit done. So here I'm looking at the Helms, and I'm trying to find one that goes well with the uh, desert pyromancer garb. And I look at the uh, prayer hood, and it's like, eh, it's not what I'm looking for. So it's like I'm thinking. Um, so I search through other ones, see which ones go well, and I eventually find the one that I will use, which is actually none of them. I won't actually use a <laughs> helm with this one, because, well, they just don't look good with this. So, you see, I'm just, just going to go over to my uh, greaves and waist claws and stuff like that. And I end up finding Lorian's leggings to be quite well with the desert garb for the pyromancer. here. So now I'm looking for my helms again, seeing like, uh, I think, oh, that actually looks pretty good, so let's leave it without that. I have the master's glove on. And you see me change the armor, like, uh, no, that ain't gonna work, so I move back down to the pyromancer garb. Then I actually go here into my weapons and equip the gun hearts shield and weapon and as you can see it looks very much like how a gladiator would with the lion and the shield and the weapon style looks very uh, very gladiator so it's Alright, um, as you can see here, I am actually going for a knight's build, but then I think, wait a minute, who else is a knight, but it wields a bastardly heavy sword so unpredictably in battle that it's just unheard of. So, I go searching through my armors, my leg pieces, and I end up finding a very unique combination of different armors because it's well it's guts so I'm thinking okay which helm will go good with a gut style armor with a blade I thought this might do but then I looked at the back it was like a giant like wedding gown piece for females and uh, I ended up searching through multiple areas I thought that one there was pretty good uh, that one there just made it, that one makes it look stupid, as well as that one. So I end up, uh, thinking maybe that one will do, but it just doesn't work. So I scroll over till I find the perfect one, which is actually the Firelink Helm. So Firelink Helm actually makes it look a lot better. And then I scroll down and I realize I passed it once I reached shields. I just go back on up to the uh, Ultra Great Sword, which is right there. Heavy Great Sword plus 10, so, you know, I gotta get the guts build. And I'm thinking, like, maybe left hand will do something? Like, no. So, after all that, just like, uh, you know, just guts. You just wear some armor and wield a big ass sword. Alright, for this one, I actually had a bit of trouble trying to uh, create because, you know, it's the uh, the uh, armor set there, armor piece for the chest, it makes it the legs so obscured that you actually have to find the perfect legs, the, and well, as you can see that I'm coming up through the, uh, oh, sorry. 
to the uh, hand pieces so that I eventually find the perfect one, which sadly is not the Undead Gauntlet. It is, I do believe, the Desert Pyromancer gloves. Yeah. I do believe I had those on there. And you'll see me circling through them. Or maybe it was the Quinex Apps. Actually, it was the Firelink's gloves. Sorry about that. And now I'm searching through the leggings and I'm trying to find a perfect one. That one there just doesn't look right because, well, actually I do believe I stuck with it anyway because of the armor rating. And I'm actually searching through here because I'm actually thinking, you know, my dude's pale and he, he's, uh, he shouldn't be wielding anything firely because Actually, it is a Pyromancer type style, but I'm thinking that, well, since this is kind of vampiric, that I'll just stick with a vampiric style. So you see me looking at it, it's like, oh, you know what, I'm going to stick with a vampiric style. So I'm actually thinking, on the other hand, since, you know, since I'm sticking with vampiric, why not go with a uh, Fire Fist? So with the Fire Fist, I will be able to parry, and with the dark hand, I'll be able to drain health. As you can see, it's actually quite very effective. All right, and for this one, I was thinking, you know, um, there's a pretty good uh, old movie I remember. And uh, I remember this one guy who wore a hat and a suit and had a rapier. So I was thinking, like, you know what? Let's find a rapier for this guy. Because, uh, as you can see, I'm looking at the Crystal Sage Reaper. Rapier. And I'm thinking, like, no. Then I look at the uh, Crow Quills. I'm thinking, you know what? That actually doesn't look too bad. So here I am testing it out, seeing what it moves like. And you got the special ability, you'll be able to throw knives, as well as the rapier style. So overall, this is a Zoro build, for those of you who didn't know. Because I looked at the mask, I at the hat, I was like, what? It's Zoro! So yeah, that is my Zoro build. And I'm going through to change it to the Shadow Legs, because... You know, Zoro doesn't wear leg armor. He's a light dude, he's nimble. So yeah, that's my Zoro guy. And he's just staring off into the distance like he normally does. Now let's leave it with an edge. I was thinking like, nah, let's not leave it with an edge. Let's uh let's do something more eloquent. Uh how about a bow? Yeah, a bow would be good. Thank you all for watching and enjoy my video. Please subscribe for more.